Jamil, two goals in a week for yourself, two match winners and three wins on the bounce now for the group. Talk us through that one today, please. I think you said it there. The most important thing is the two wins for the for the for the boys in terms of the games I've played in, um, and the three wins for the week. Um, and yeah, just just excited and happy to, to you know to be scoring winners for the boys, um, because you see the work we've put in. Um, the lads, I give a shout out to said to Jacko and the boys at the back who've kept kept it tight, especially the last week or so. Um, and yeah, they're giving us a platform to go and win games. So no, fantastic. The ball through from Donovan Daniels for you. I thought it was just going to skip away from you, but you waited patiently for it to drop just at the right time, and then it's a cool, calm finish underneath the goalkeeper. Yeah, just turned the burners on, and then. <laughs> but no, I skipped all my movement, um, and I was, you know, happy the ball come through, and yeah, just happy to to finish it. Um, I said Luke McGee, I've played with, um, he's a good goalkeeper, but I was happy to to get one over him in that in in that in that instance. Talk us through the celebrations where you hold up a shirt. Just explain the reasoning behind that one. Yeah, we um, unfortunately lost someone um, close to our family um, over the last couple of days. So it was an emotional time um, and someone that meant a lot to us, so to myself and, and to my family. So um, it, it was very important to, to hold up for, for James today. You could really see the emotion behind it at that point. Um, and you could just see what it meant to you and what it meant to your family as well. Definitely. Um, I was speaking to the boys there and I, to be honest, I, I hadn't said anything to anyone apart from the gaffer and, and I kept my joycey and no, no was really the only ones that knew. So I didn't really want to make a fuss about it. Um, but yeah, it, it obviously meant a lot. But to be honest, probably the most relaxed I've been going into a game just because when things like this happen, it puts everything in perspective um, and football kind of fails into insignificance if I'm being honest but um, yeah it, you know just looks so just happy to get the win for the boys and, and, for, and for James and it just goes to show what a group we've got in there that everybody comes over and celebrates you not that they wouldn't do it ordinarily but yeah. it just goes to show you you've got a fantastic group around you at work as well yeah listen like I said, I've not played as much as I'd like this year, but the boys have been fantastic, and that's something that you know keeps you going because you come in every day, you enjoy your work because of how the boys are, and how tight we are as a as a group. Um, and yeah, we keep we keep keep each other going when anything happens. We all rally around each other, and you saw that there. Um, great group of boys. I'm probably the eldest one in in, in the group, um, so it's Uncle Uncle Jams a lot of the time. But um, now I'm I'm proud to be their uncle because the, honestly, the group of lads in there, are, I'm proud to to call them my teammates. I've just said to Jackson, how important is it to have momentum going into a real busy Christmas period? You know, it's always a buzzword around football, but how important is it to have it? Yeah, it's massive. Um, it all snowballs. You know, momentum it can go either way. You know, can you have down momentum, you can have up momentum, and at the minute we've got a good bit of momentum in terms of three games, and we like to bottle that feeling because we want to keep it coming, um, and that's what we'll be looking to do. And a lot of it's come from the hard work we've put in from the training pitch. Um, so we've just got to keep doing that, keep doing the basics right, keep doing the little one percenters or getting the little one percenters, um, which we have, which the boys have been doing and sticking together. And if we keep doing that, then you know, keep getting the performance right as well. First, first and foremost, because I think the performance levels have been excellent the last week, especially. So if you keep getting those performance levels right, then you know, results tend to follow. And on a final note, you mentioned the defence already. Yeah. How good is it to have somebody like? You know, Jackson Smith and Goal, who's competitive enough to fill in for Owen Evans, who's not been there. And then we see just how important Priestley has been since he's come back in. What's it like to have those as a back, you know, four, five, six there at the moment? Yeah, I, to be honest, I play against them in training. You know, it's not easy. So I wouldn't like to, to play against them on a, on a Saturday or a Tuesday. Um, and also, Jacko's been fantastic. I think Jacko's had to be very patient because Owen's a, a, a very good keeper, one of the best I've played with. Um, and Jacko's obviously took his opportunity now where, where Owen's had an injury but Jacko's been like that in training probably week in week out in terms of working his socks off where well, we've been frustrated as well because like I said the quality of keeper that he's had in front of him in Owen um, but yeah that's that's what we need you need a competition for places if you want to push the team forward and um, push performance levels higher um, and every time I've been the team that's done well that's what you have you have lads that are chomping at the bit to get in the team and you've got to be on your toes or you've got to be performing yourself in trying to try and get into the team so that's what we've got here competition for places at the moment and long may that continue